All right. And just as I asked for that, uh, restart that whole sentence. My bad, my bad. You know, getting the jitters out early. Uh, and just as I, as I had foretold, we are now ready with the Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania Course Randomizer Race with Helix and I Swim Fly. All right, hey everyone. Um, this is Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, the newest Monkey Ball game. I'm Helix here, also with a friend, one of which I'm I am racing. Fly, yep, that's me cutting off Helix. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we didn't practice this intro. Uh, <laughs> we have a third person here gonna, who's going to help us talk about the video game. Peter, fellow Monkey Ball speedrunner as well. He said the Peter. thing. He said oh. the thing on Peter. He said the line. Forget He's Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna run everybody through what this randomizer means. So first off, I know we don't do shoutouts to the end, but I gotta give one to Bob Jr. Senior, who is the developer of the Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania course modifier. Without that, this would not be possible. But on top of that, uh, that course modifier allows you to take stages, put them in any order, and just kind of play them however you wanna make them. And what I've done for this is I created a Python script that allows you to pick from collections of levels and set the number of courses and essentially just uh, consolidates and makes it easier on a user level to create these randomizers. Um, normally for races like these, we play on the same seed, but we had Peter check out some seeds that were different just to try to give you a little more variation and let you see a little more of what Banana Mania has to offer. Uh, Helix, do you want to explain Warp Goals? Cause I've done a lot of talking. Sure. <laughs> so, the most interesting thing about the randomizer, you know, of course it can give you a random set of stages, but we can also randomize the warp goals. Uh, in Super Monkey Ball, there are two different warp goals. There's a green goal, which normally skips one stage, and a red goal, which normally skips ahead two stages. But we can randomize these distances. So, the settings we have set for this randomizer is that green goals can skip us ahead up to five stages, or backwards up to two stages, and red goals are double that, so red goals can skip us ahead up to 10 stages or backwards up to four. Um, mm -hmm. Just makes for some ridiculousness in the randomizer, it's a lot of fun. Yep. One last quick thing to note about the randomizer, at least the way that we're gonna be playing it, is that it, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania has a few different main game modes, which are the story mode, uh, challenge modes, and then the special modes. We, the, the course modifier allows you to overwrite an existing difficulty. So in this case, we're gonna overwrite original stage mode. This is gonna be done so that Helix and I can instantly retry stages where we normally wouldn't be able to. In challenge mode, if you hit retry, you start from the beginning of the entire course. Yeah, and that could <laughs> pretty much ruin a, a run and we don't want that yeah. to happen. Yeah, this also conveniently allows the use of a glitch, which we can explain if it comes up. Um, one other thing to note, I believe we are both using input display Yes. on our webcam, so I have mine up in the... I think for everybody watching it would be the top left corner of my camera. Um, it's just joystick and C-stick, those are both important inputs in this game. Mine will be in the top right, I also have the A button and the pause button as I drop my controller. Oh, I didn't put those on. <laughs> uh, I just put the pause button because if you pause, and then yeah. uh, A to show that I'm advancing. Anyway, that said, um, let's hop into original stage mode and get this started. I'm going to press A on this uh, level. This is not starting the run, I'm just going to the control screen because there's this to get past the first time you open the thing in a session. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm also there. I'm on the control screen. Uh, Sweet. Peter, I, I guess we're ready. We have Peter count us down? You're ready. Mm -hmm. I'm countdown. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go! That was good. Thank that was you, very monkey ball. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> it was no problem, very monkey ball. Um, also of note is that we are both using a handful of mods. Um, the most obvious one will probably be a soundtrack mod, the Musical Monkey Madness soundtrack. That was... There were a bunch of different tracks uploaded, a bunch of different monkey ball remixes uploaded on the Siva Gunner channel. And some people, including Deadline, shout out to Deadline, helped make it a soundtrack mod for this game, which is super cool. So go check out the Musical Monkey Madness album if you are liking the songs that you're hearing. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to Deadline, who couldn't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Ready? 
I gotta say, as my first time uh, properly watching through front to back uh, a randomizer of this game, the fact that you're playing on two different seeds is wildly entertaining to me. I'm very excited yeah. to see how this unfolds. I pushed for <laughs> this. So far, I, I really like, wanted us to play on different seeds. Really wanted this. Yeah. <laughs> there, there have been like equally long. Oh, like here's curvature, which is really, really long on the left, which makes up for the fact that Helix got like two really short stages as the first two stages. Just super Indeed. interesting how that's probably gonna cut back and forth because monkey ball stages actually average out at like a pretty similar length of like you know eight to like 13 seconds or so in length so in most cases it won't be too different but it will depend on the uh two players ability to play each stage you know where their specialties lie which will be super interesting to see unfold <laughs> so really quickly while i'm being bodied by guillotine i think i'll go over a little bit about the specifics for our randomizer so one a uh, few th settings that we have access to thanks to the python script i loaded is um, one thing is you can select any number of stages that you're going to be playing. So we're going to be playing 150 stages, as you know. You can also select any collection of stages. That means any of the special modes, any of the challenge modes, any of the story mode worlds. For this randomizer, we chose every single challenge mode from SMB1 and SMB2. The exception of SMB1 Master, because Helix and I generally don't like how that, uh, that difficulty plays in this game. And then we also chose every special mode aside from original stage mode. Original stage mode just kind of takes certain stages and makes them a little bit harder, mm -hmm. changes them, First makes them more, more like here. the original version. Ready? You're getting a warp goal. So when it says warp to stage I warp five, goal. I got rings, the forward version. I actually started in so, reverse. So was that like a pretty regular amount of warps there? You go for it. I, I'm, I'm learning here. Yeah, Peter. Okay. Awesome. That was a regular amount of warps, yeah. That was two. Ready? When I was looking at the seeds to figure out, uh, you know, some balance between the two seeds, I was looking at like the warp goal distances that they could go, and like it looked like they can output some pretty, pretty wacky numbers. So I'm excited to see yeah, how that unfolds here. Up to five, you can go up to five stages forward awesome. with the green goal, and up to ten stages forward with the red goal. Yes. Uh. Well. So I guess I kind of yeah, end up outputting a little bit like the SMB1 oh. uh, warp goal limits as a sort of maximum. I didn't get the UFO skip. Sad. Unfortunate. I'm being bullied by AC so I was getting a lot of stages. I'm uncomfortable no, with early on. Oh, yeah, like like UFO skip these stuff later. Is that, is that something that you're actually disappointed to not get? <laughs> yeah, as SMB2 world record holder, it's pretty much vital at this point. Yes, yeah, so Swimplay has a setup for it that I've neglected to learn because I haven't been... Fair playing enough. a game that much until very recently. That's so cool, UFO has come along. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting, it's such a fun skip to go for. Uh, we should probably mention the other mods we're using. I, at least I am using the guest character voice pack. Normally, uh, in this game, the guest characters, so like, you know, Sonic, Tails, Hello Kitty, B, Morgana, uh, they don't have voices, but there is a mod that gives them voices. So, I believe we're both using that. Yes, I'm also using uh, dynamic sounds. I don't think we're going to be using my game audio for this. I, uh, I don't think I'm using that. But I'm using the dynamic sounds mod. That's a great mod that adds back the original sound effects for rolling, bumping, all sorts of stuff like that. If you want to play this game, I highly recommend getting it on PC so that you can enjoy the mod scene. Yes, me too. It, there is also a control quirk in this game that you can fix with Steam controller yeah. settings that you cannot fix on console. So, highly, highly recommend. I'm getting the PC version. I hate this stage. Carpetless. I'm on carpet. <laughs> Carpetless not going I very actually, well. This might, this might be one of my... Yeah, I wish. This might be one of my least favorite stages in this entire game. Yeah, that's fair. It's just kind of messed slow. up. The equivalent of a monkey ball It's slow and the cycle's weird. Weren't you like a uh, all difficulties warpless player back in your SMB1 days? It's fine in SMB1. Oh, you're a hater. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. You know what? Oh, <laughs> great. Oh, there you have it. Oh, 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 there's oh, a sick pot trap for it in SMB1. Swimfly's got carpet too. I'm on carpet, but back. Oh no! Oh, but it's reverse mode carpet. Oh, see, That's super funny. Okay, you're on the better version then, because that version is a six kit. <laughs> Let's go seating. And I'm playing a long. St Not what? scripted, by the way. I only. Peter, what did you do to me? I didn't check the stages. The fact that Swimfly got the easier <laughs> version of carpet is hilarious. <laughs> Take those, honestly. Ooh, didn't you do that? And I'm playing a really long though. stage in the deck again. I'm crying. Oh no! Play it safe. I don't like Ooh. playing carpet longer than I have. To. You hate reverse <laughs> um, mode. That's why you should do the skip. It makes it shorter. We're also. <laughs> We're also using like a quality of life mod that I believe is made by Iceland. Oh, yeah, that's me. Is that you? Yeah. Uh, you that, that mod is mod? UI enhancements. It essentially just like makes the pause screen a little bit easier to see. Normally, when you pause, there's like a picture of your character and it's like a kind of like a yellowish tint. 
but I disabled that and just made it a little bit easier to see. So for pause strats, like what I'm failing to do right now, you can see what you're, you can generally see what you're looking at. Yo, that's hype. All right, last I just stage went is called last stage. Are you about to finish the run, Swimplay? I'm about to finish the run. I just run. went backwards. That's the last stage right there. So, what just happened to me is I went through a warp goal and I didn't see any text that said like warp to stage, whatever. Uh -huh. And immediately I was scared because when you don't see that text, after going through a warp goal, it means you are either going forward one stage, backwards. you are staying on the stage you are on, or you're going backwards. So I knew there was a decent chance I was going backwards, and of course I went backwards one Ooh. stage, which to me happened, for me happened to be a longer stage as well, so Minus that wasn't one. great. Unlucky. Who curated this seed? I, I know, right? <laughs> now that this is unfolding a little bit, I must warn that I uh, looked for the two most equally matched but content-filled seeds. <laughs> If good. I saw that that's both of them had a good. lot of big negative and positive numbers, I went for them. So that's what we got going on here. Nice red duel. No, no, there's no way this is also negative. <laughs> I didn't get text again. Please. Yeah, oh. so as you is experiencing right now. Dodecagon. Dodecagon three times. <laughs> Welcome back to Dodecagon. As Helix is currently experiencing, if you <laughs> don't see any text after going through a warp goal, it is a sign to fear. <laughs> it means you are generally either not going anywhere, going backwards, or you're only going forward. Goal, so it wasn't really worth it. <laughs> I hope you get in the end since you've committed this long, but you, you you're going you're going so backwards. <laughs> that was almost awesome. Yeah, I'm going for it. I really hope it happens. Me though, Ooh, it would be oh, funny. Can you do that red goal again, Helix on Inchworms? That was that was Ready? awesome. Why not? Why do you? Why? No. Oh, hey, we're we'll be, we'll be forward four. Let's go. What is he, the cool strat? Because Why do you, you hate us? Betrayed yeah, me. Yeah, that red goal strat was awesome. You nailed it first try. You're scared? Oh, Did you do the fast scared. one here? No, that's not even the fast oh. strat. Hopefully, yeah, I get that... Intrums. Intrums is an SMB2 normal. That is, like, my strongest category, period. Oh, well, I mean, I'm in, in your seed, it's like, going to send you forward else. 10 stages. Don't worry, Sunflower. Your, your in terms is going to send you forward 10 stages. Thank you, Peter. I'm glad you checked. Please, you should go for you should go for red goal whenever the opportunity. Uh, oh, did that green goal help go you, by the way? You always go for red goal. The green goal did, yes. It won't be forward four. Oh, that's lucky. I gotta say, oh, you know, so... all things considered, you two right now are both on stage 15, if I'm reading this correctly. That's ginormous. 15 out of 150. That's awesome. I'm going to take full credit for that as a this is a balance seed. <laughs> so one quick thing to note. Oh, oh, oh boy, I'm going into go go. randomizer in the randomizer. So fun. one fun thing to note is once um, once you reach a certain uh, level, like I believe for us to be stage 140, we enter what Helix and I call the win zone. So if a if you're going through a warp goal and it's going to take you through the end of the, the difficulty, like let's say you get a warp goal on stage 149 and it's going to warp you to 151. I just got a eight, eight warp goal red, by the way. Eight warp goal red, oh baby! Eight? I told you to take those warp goals. Sixteen wait, to down. 24 <laughs> into plane. You love to see it. Anyways, back on track. Peter, if you're gonna get a if you're going through a warp goal. And it's going to take you uh, past the end. It will just uh, back you out and take you. You will have completed the course. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it'll literally just take you back to the menu. So, yep. if one of us just ends up outside of game, <laughs> probably be one. Yes. We're, I'm gonna hesitantly say that we should start being ready to call a timer. On yeah, because it could happen at any point. Because it could happen exactly. anywhere. Exactly. Okay. It could happen on stage 140 and whoop us through. Well, it could happen on stage 141. It couldn't happen on 141. True, yeah. It could, 141 could warp us through I gotta say though, it definitely is in the best interest to take yeah. big warp goals when you see them, because like I said, I dealt out big numbers in these dudes, so that 10 that, or however many that was, what was it, 8? That 8 you got, there might be more like that, but they might also be eight, yeah. Yeah. so be careful. <laughs> so basically, but everything I just said meant nothing. Yeah, like, well, I mean, and... At all. It's like kind of like equally bad and good. Part of the reason we chose... Part of the reason we chose these numbers is because, on average, they would be better than just taking the blue goal. So you always want to yeah. go for a work goal when we can. It, if, if you take a bunch of work goals, eventually they will average out to be better than a regular goal. Yeah, right, there we go. The See, that was that was the maximum in, green warp distance. Huge. Ooh, maximum green from Felix. Like, that's a catch-up moment. Where'd and with that, both of you are I'm going to from 21 to 26. And this is Pendulum. Oh, nice. This is a holdup, but I don't remember the frames in which it is a holdup, so I'm just going to mess around with it until I find them. I, I don't remember either. Uh, okay. 
Peter, you want to explain cam lock as oh, I can yeah. cross using it? Absolutely. Uh, you're able to control your camera manually, unlike earlier Monkey Ball games with your uh, right control stick or whatever you find it as. That worked. And if you pull the manual cam all the way down, which causes you to see your ball sort of from a top-down bird's eye view perspective, um, the camera does not get moved at all by your movement in the game. It stays completely locked in position, which allows you to do stages with a lot of 9 degree turns really fast and efficiently without losing your position. It sort of stabilizes the camera and makes it play more like, like a Marble Mania game, which is very useful for some stages and setups, of course. Ready? I'd like to point out hey, no problem. Dodge, thank you for explaining Ken Mock, Peter. That's a pretty nice long stage. Ooh, <laughs> I'm on Park Square, so we're, we're, we're both playing longer ones. That's yeah. a foul from Helix. Although... <laughs> Oh, oh my you Yeah, know, I mean, yeah, your long stage is still over twice as long as mine is. I'm not that concerned about it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 15 seconds, like it's still seconds. above average in this game. I'm not a mathematician, Ready? but I do like disagreeing. Yeah. It's also probably important to talk about the general movement of this game. We actually haven't touched on that yet. That's true. It's been 10 minutes and we haven't talked about it. Ooh. If you're familiar with Monkey Ball 1 and 2 speedruns, you might be... Uh, you might know of the term boosting, which is where uh, diagonals are used to accelerate faster because they're the strongest input. That does not exist in this game. In Monkey Ball Banana Mania, the strongest inputs are cardinals. What just happened to me? <laughs> so, we want to be using cardinal directions, especially just directly forward whenever possible. That was a beautiful I'm getting, twin base, and oh my god, wow. 53, let's go. I just had the weirdest spread of all time, okay. Wow. That, Once again, you two really on the stage, basement. same nice. stage I had that do earlier, happening. and I just didn't get the setup for it. 31 to 31. It was amazing, except I got another long one. Ready? Felix mm. is oh, a short one, on. if I this strat works perfect. out, though, but it is polar light. Yeah. I did practice this earlier today, but it's uh, perverse. Oh, 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 <laughs> How am I supposed to know the difference? Why would you even say that? Does it say somewhere? You know what, Swimfly? You're muted for 10 seconds. Uh, it shouldn't say somewhere. You should just be able to see it from the outside. Oh, no. There's a pause strat here on domes, and I don't remember what it is, and we're just going to improv it. I'm going to tell you? <laughs> Nailed it. No, I don't need it. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Ooh, um, gimmick, that's a long oh one. Oh boy, this is a long one. This is what you yeah. get for that thing you said about, uh... Yeah, it does. And dodge maze. Ooh, do switch storage? That's you fine. Won't. Ooh, you won't. No. <laughs> it's, not, it's not worth it for me on the stage. I'm so gimmick, bad at the setup. that's fair, that's fair. Um, I practiced it this way is too actually much a really good opportunity like to... <laughs> I mentioned pause stress. This is actually a really good opportunity to discuss them. Uh, this game is mostly deterministic. Beautiful. It does some weird stuff sometimes, but you can mostly count on it. Ooh, that red gold tears. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank god. Okay. Okay, red gold tears just put me back on tears. Back on tears. <laughs> oh, that's not that bad. Okay. That's, so much that's fine. Better. It was it, that was so hype. that was for the content. You got the red gold wire and it was it was awesome and everyone popped off and then you should do it again, honestly. I popped then... off and then I got mm. so scared when I saw the effect. <laughs> Ready? Oh, and so when I'm pausing, I'm looking for a specific time on the timer, uh, and then basically using that info to hold a specific input that usually does either a portion of the stage for me, or like a good setup, or just completes Ready? the stage. Um, it's not as useful in this game due to a variety of factors, uh, but it, it does still come into play. The main reason pausing isn't great in this game is because when you pause, whatever input you're holding isn't actually held for that singular frame. So you yep. can't really do what's called rebuffering in other Monkey Ball games, if you're familiar with that. You can't really rebuffer in this game, because uh, you'll be holding neutral for several uh, frames, meaning that you won't be able to hold that consistent input that whole way. There are certain strats you can rebuffer, but overall you don't see a lot of pause strats in this game, unless it's like sitting still for a certain amount of time. Like, hopefully we'll see that on coin slots and dribbles. However, that brief neutral input does sometimes help us, because you saw me hold forward and pause on domes. That neutral input was actually exactly what I needed to set up that dome strat. Yep. The very least so, sometimes that brief neutral input helps with that. Also, chat is saying some correct stuff in the chat. Mostly. Uh, you know, this game's as weird. for the usual, talking about how one should be donating, this is very true. There's some cool paperball stuff coming up that you might want to look forward to. Yeah, Absolutely. I heard there's an incentive for Paperball, like a really cool one. Yeah, yeah let, me, let, me, let me plug that real quick. Um, 
So we have a paper boss uh, incentive for uh, Champion, which if you're familiar with Monkey Ball, which if you're watching this from, there's a, at least a somewhat decent chance you are, is that game's equivalent one of Master. It's very, very difficult. There's this one level that is just a curved type wire that just has a segment that's a bump in the middle that also flips. Ready? Why? Why? <laughs> they hate you. Honestly, I believe it. Um, and yeah, uh, while, while I've got my speaking privileges here, uh, I'm also gonna shout out a donation we got from Non-Binary Code, which is $22, and says, Helix? Monkey Wait. Ball? I Swim Fly? I'm Peter? All this and some random, uh... Randomizer. Like, I separated into two words and my brain completely shut down. I am so sorry. How could I not <laughs> give? Good luck. Uh, less than three. So thank you so much, Non-Binary Code, for that donation. What's going on, non-binary code? Yeah, thank you. Yep. Let's get this incentive, man. Definitely want to see uh, the equivalent to master in paperball. More ball yeah. in the oh yeah, and that uh, that did go towards the don uh, donation incentive. Oh, it's huge. Awesome. What is that at currently? Uh, let me check that really quick for you. Uh... It is at forty-two dollars out of one hundred and twenty-five. Okay, not that. Yeah, that's some pretty oh, good progress, done. and I'm not yeah, even at yeah. stage 150 yet. Yeah, so, I mean, or stage 150, stage 50 out of 150. I'm done. I'm finishing. No. And we uh, we have until the end of next run to meet that. So get those donations in. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> you may think there's a little bit of time, but these runs are gonna go real fast. So get these in. Donate toward the good cause to see more video game. See more marble rolling video game. That's what we're here for. I'm always amazed by how many uh, odd times I see both of you drop into a stage. It's like almost exactly the same length too, but like a completely Ready? different stage. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like three second long stages, and it's like both. That can happen in this game. A lot of uh, the SMB one is, uh, I... stages are shorter. I will never judge using Please two be nice to me. Yes. In the SMB randomizer ever again. This is working out really well. <laughs> oh hey, it's stage one of Super Monkey Ball Two. Let's go Ooh, simple. Nice. This is hard. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. If you get 54.75, you did it right. Nice. Let's go. Nah, I, just a, I just had a couple helpful warp goals in a row. I feel lucky right now. I'm scared. They didn't send me backwards or anything. Ready? All right. They didn't send me that far forwards, but there's a, they did something. They, they skipped a few stages. They are content warp goals. Watch out for them. You want to take them unless you don't want to take them. You got to know beforehand if they're good or bad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But I won't tell you. All right. Awesome. We just I'm hearing we hit $400, is yeah, that true? Yeah, we just hit $400. And we also got, you know, with that, a $2 donation from Anvil SP that says, I'm Peter. And that did go towards the champion bonus run. <laughs> Let's go, Anvil. That's so true. I'm Peter. I'm Peter. Yes, it's tears. Now I get to play tears. Oh boy. Ooh, you should take the green goal. Do the red goal wire, but then go on the green goal? Nah, I'm just kidding. I have no I'm going on the red goal. Yeah. I'm definitely going on the red goal. You're going on the red goal, right. Now. Vortex game. It didn't work out well, very well good. for swim fly, but it might work out well for you. Unless it doesn't. I, okay, okay, I get to play do this red goal. Here we go. Here I, I normally like get the flex all over this red goal and I failed it twice. There we go. That was clean when I got it. And 60. The full one? Uh oh. <laughs> 10! I won the lead, goal. not anymore. That tears was way better than swim fly, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. At least you both did red goal. That's the full 10 hard. stages! Swagular. We're here for fun. Peter's trying to lead me away. You should have taken the green goal on though. It's true. Yeah, it would have taken me 11 stages. Nice construction. Facts. I'm, that's me. Wow, that was awesome. Shout out to Peter for like inventing that strat. That strat's awesome. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I stole it. Ready? Go. How many times can we say some variation of I'm Peter this run? <laughs> Once. Frick it twice. Oh, okay. I think you can do it a lot more than try. I'm gonna need a warp build to catch up. Wait. <laughs> There's an I'm Peter channel point reward now. When did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to I love it. That's great. <laughs> That's incredible. Ooh, I nailed the last stage pause strat first try too. Shout out to Peter for that one as well. Oh, what the frick? That's awesome. It's Peter. That's my strat. We need some, we need some I'm Peters in the chat. Maybe you're Peter Helix. Ready? Yeah, actually, you did nail my strat, and who else would nail a strat I can besides be the strat creator? 
Ooh, you missed that one. Try another. All right, I need wormhole and centrifugal, and then I'll have every oh, you're first stage baby from SMB2. Stages. The game's I, going easy. I have simple and banks under my belt. Yeah, because it's playing like late game stages right stages. now, destruction and giant sling and stuff, and you're playing baby stages. That's why you need to catch up. Sometimes you don't even need warp goals; you just need length difference. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> All right, we have another. We have another donation coming in. If I have some time here. Yeah, yeah you should. I'm going for a pause strat. Oh, awesome. I love those. So we have sixty-eight dollars from non-binary code that just says "nice?" question mark, and that went towards the paper ball champion bonus run yet again, inching us closer and closer. We are now only thirteen dollars away from meeting that incentive. So. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> I have that right. much money in my wallet, I think. Maybe I spent it at a Smash tournament that I lost. Um, but you can do it. We can just donate $13. That's, that's in my name. That is in your name. That's like my favorite number. Ready? Not because it's in your name. I, I It was my favorite number before it was yours. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Ooh, all right, serial jump. Ooh. <laughs> Big high effort right now. Right Honestly, I might play it intended. I'm playing <laughs> bingo practice. Right I'm off. more comfortable for that. Yeah, bingo. Takes a bit a lot longer. For those who don't know, we also run. play. Yeah, we also play Banana Mania Bingo, where we go for collecting certain objectives in the game, like going through a certain number of warp goals, uh, perfect clearing a certain number of stages, and stuff like that. One of the challenges is to play. Uh, zero jump all the way to the red belt as intended, so and going it's through really every hard. single ring. Top intended stage. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? I, that was an amazing save. That's, that's I, I awesome. figured it was scripted, honestly. If you're gonna start uh, off like that, then of course you're justified. Ooh, actually, just you're turning uh, on the spot. I had to, you're out of, I had to turn you're around. Out of it's you're it's out of tough. So I'm flying. I was neither swimming nor flying. I had to try. I was falling. I was going the wrong way. I was gonna hit the. Uh, there we go. All right, yeah, see that that, that, that was in, of course, four. of course. Four, let's go! Four from the red goal? Oh, wow. Not bad, kid, not bad, not, not bad, not bad. bad. Nice. And you worked hard for that one. I just warped to 74 from 72 from DNA. Uh-oh. I'm still behind, oh. I gotta catch up. Pretty close, though. Ooh, I got. I just got downhill hard, which is secretly one of the hardest Ooh. stages in the game. It is, it does have hard in the name, so it might be one of the hardest stages That's in the true. game. true. Yeah, that does make sense. Uh, you know what wasn't hard, though? Oh. Uh, baiting the entire chat into giving money to lead. Uh, we have another donation from a tea tree that is just thirteen dollars, and it says one dollar for every Peter. I'm Peter. Let's I'm go. Peter was me, yeah, actually. That was Peter. not part of the donation. However, that <laughs> does mean that we uh, the meet the paper ball champion bonus run, and uh, I also think that That's might have awesome. been uh, the donation number might have been a reference to Helix thirteen underscore little underground streamer. Huge. I never heard of them. They're really cool though. I don't know who that is. I gotta, I gotta go check out that channel. It's pretty epic, not gonna lie. Also, I just got completely rejected by the goalposts on Catapult. Um, this game is like that sometimes, where the goalposts will just destroy you. The goalposts you. have been working uh, out since the original Monkey Ball games. They're actually really thick yeah. and muscular, so watch out. You the, can get the, knocked the, out. The, 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 the trade-off is that the party ball has, has had to change their parts since the original <laughs> oh, yeah, games, the and is now is off, willing really, to really catch you. Go, yep. honestly. But the rule yeah. of thumb for this game, <laughs> holy, holy, yeah, the rule of thumb for this game is the faster you're going, the worse the goalposts are going to be to you. Yeah. Um, I do have to say though, thank you all for donating. Um, we mentioned it like once, and then that incentive was met. That was sick. Uh, keep it up. Keep donating. Keep donating to lead. Oh boy, puzzle. This is not I a fun say. stage. I'm listening to Ice Swimflies audio right now, and this dumb cat will not shut up. Oh, he does not shut up. My dumb, <laughs> stupid cat. I want to punch him. Our host is mad. <laughs> I'm mad too, honestly. Let's get mad together. That's it. I'm rooting for Helix now. Ready? All right. Know. You've done it this time. I'll take it. This is going to change Helix's <laughs> favor now. I, I, I'm, I'm using, I'm I'm using my mind web to, to, to solar flare transmogrify the seed as we speak. <laughs> And all of Helix's goals are tenors. Got, got puzzle. Let's go. Let's go. Watch out for your next warp goal, by the way. It will be negative. Guaranteed from fly. True. True. Thank you, Peter. No uh, I might as well go for ring bridges. Skip. Go for Gringle. Where am I going? Oh, okay. that's not how I play combination, but we take out the people. 
All right, All so right. huge news. Um, remember how about five minutes ago I said we met four hundred dollars? I forgot. My memory just doesn't last that long. Oh, uh, you know what? That's fair. Mine neither. Um, but uh, we have some big news, and we are now at five hundred dollars. What? <laughs> wow. That's Bye. awesome. What the heck? That's awesome. So um, that that was met with a an eighteen dollar donation from Non-Binary Code that just says, "Look at that nice even number," and that's so true. Come down. Let's oh get another number. Somebody ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <need> more. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten this far. Um, that's ridiculous. We're not even half an hour into this run yet, and uh, we went from below four hundred to five hundred in that span. So thank you all so much. What? <laughs> That's the power of power. That's the power of Peter. Yeah. Ooh, you both end up playing shreds. The power of Peter. What are the odds? Probably a little one and two on them. Oh, we're home. Ooh, first stage alert. Centrifugal. First stage alert. <laughs> All the baby stages oh, acquired. Oh, this is the first stage of experts, so watch out. Those tracks could be pretty thin. Oh, I don't like this level. Ooh, you love you this level. Do the pause thread. I got, I got frame worm. Oh, I think I am getting the correct frame of the boss rat. I think this just works. That might be a frame on the second load. Nope. Try to okay, get that never mind. Uh, I think it required it. I, I think it required a different one. input than the one I had. I think that would've worked on first load. We're gonna try this. <laughs> Almost works. Alright, I'm not being helpful. Time to watch Swimfly's perspective. Ooh, double spiral. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I should've done the funny. Ready? I died okay, but we can actually to show you a bug that's on this stage. No, we need to game. actually talk about first and second load. Oh, <laughs> oh true. Right. I can talk. Are you, who's talking? Okay. Down. You can talk. You, you can do it. I'm trying to figure out. Okay. How to play yeah. This level. So basically, create kind of a horrifying coincidence. Actually, this exists in both the original Monkey Ball games and the new Monkey Ball games, right? But uh, when you first load in the stage, the way the stage reacts to you and how you collide with things is actually a little bit different than when you retry. So, it usually doesn't end up being something you notice when you're playing the game normally, but with pause strats, which are very precise, uh, they will function differently, typically, depending on the load. Now, back in SMB2 and SMB1 and Deluxe, this was because of animations on stages, typically. But in this game, it just does that for fun. Yeah, in this game, we have no idea. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. Aww. Oh, I missed composition skip. I got the clip. I, know. I just missed the bottom. That's okay, I just took like six tries on Frameworm because that stage is Every awful. Every time I see a composition played like that, I wonder how I didn't even remotely decide to like think about maybe actually clipping or whatever at all on that oh, stage. It's mean, pretty obvious from the side. Now I have a 30 second level. Ooh, you deserve that it. I just died on. That is longer than 30 seconds now. Yeah. Ooh, no, no, actually, you both already played last uh, stage. Last stage right? alert? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But this one is your destiny. Sorry, uh, final stage alert? Right. This one's cold. You can be done. Final Don't stage. fall off again, okay. I'm going the warp goal. Neither of you aren't a warp goal, so that's an awesome thing for me to say that last. <laughs> Who, who's gonna follow that advice? I should have studied really hard, like, what every single warp goal does and have it memorized for this, so that I could actually, like, offer really annoying, like, correct, but sometimes incorrect <laughs> advice. <laughs> I should know what all the warp goals do by heart. Sorry. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna go on this opera green shoulders. goal here, Sunfly. Alright, I won't go for opera green goal, thank you, Peter. Dang. Okay. Steps. That Steps was the most game? corrupt opera I've ever done, but I got Ooh, 49. 49. So that's huge. Banger. <laughs> Such a weird bounce off the That's thing. really good. <laughs> Those well, are pretty awful frame. steps. I tried to cam lock it, thinking that would help, but it didn't threat. do anything. <laughs> Ooh, reverse Thank checker. You. This stage has a pretty sick skip, but it's pretty hard. First, First try. try? Let's go. Huge. That was brilliant, Let's too. Go. That setup was so quick. Yeah. You don't do that with cam lock? All the, all, all the way? Sometimes I do. <laughs> what? You're talking about Okay, this is really now? important. <laughs> I need... A, this green goal to not be awful because if it keeps me here or sends me backwards, then I can't use it. Okay, thank thank goodness. Because otherwise, I would have had to play the blue goal on Entangled Path, and that's like a 30 second stage Ooh, if you yeah, have to take the blue bad. goal. It's awful. How much did you warp? So I'm actually really glad I didn't have to do that. I warped uh, from 89 to 92, I believe. Not bad, not bad. For a green goal, anyway. 
that's pretty yeah, that's pretty solid for a green gold. Ooh, no it. swirl skip? That's fair because the strat's not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at all. Not in this game. But I'm down. It would have been ridiculous to go for that in a randomizer. Yeah, or like, yeah, going for that. It's kind of fun to go going for that. Going for that in any non IL setting. Alright, I'm gonna interject here. Because it looks like uh, one of you is uh, going into a new level and the other one's falling. So, uh, we have two new donations. We got $5 from Jack Splat, and it says $1 for every 100 so far. And that went towards the Persona 4 Golden Final Dungeon Custom Choice Bid War. Which, uh, so basically, in the Final Dungeon, you can choose a costume. It's either gonna be a Christmas themed costume or a Halloween themed costume. I personally vote for Halloween. Not only is it the season, I also love men. Uh, <laughs> and as we all know, Halloween is for the gays and the queers. Um, Facts. So, uh, we also have another donation, which was $20 from Slosh. Slosh W. Slosh, Slosh. Let's go Slosh. I love Slosh. And it says, good luck to Helix and uh, Swimfly. Such an awesome category slash mod getting shown off by two of the best of the best. Also, do I hear the legendary Peters Incorporated? What a great oh, show. And uh, I feel no remorse in continuing to talk because <laughs> Peter's on chaos right now and Swimfly- Peter's might flying now. <laughs> Swimfly just got sent back to the I'm same Peter. stage. Actually, I hit retry. Peter's on jump machine. I'm not supposed to do that. I hit retry on accident, so I'm just gonna go to the red goal again and see where it sends me. I'm gonna um, be a good boy. Uh, and uh, we have two new donations and setups that just opened up. We have the Kirby and the Forgotten yes. Land beat the Ultimate Cup Z, and that's set at $250. That's going to be tomorrow at around this same time. And we have the Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance Any% percent Bonus Run, and that is set at $150. So, uh, please get those met. Uh, the Castlevania Run is a little bit sooner, by the way. That's going to be at about, you know, 3 p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow. Uh, so good luck figuring that one out. This is my revenge. Oh, we're bringing out the mountain time? Uh, so that's two hours behind Eastern time for all of you. Yeah. Bring it all around Eastern town time. back Swimfly, through Why the frick swirl. are you playing Swirl again? What's happening here? <laughs> I got sent backward by Jump Machine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I accidentally hit retry, so I had to go for it again. Oh, Swimfly, what's boy. going on here? You already played Swirl. You love that stage. I gotta go through hey, I had to play Chaos. Dang, that was a major backwards goal. I should have told you about that. I'm down. You did. I'll tell you next time. That was there. actually my next warp goal, and you called the next one. Like, what? Would be negative. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> well, maybe the green goal is good. You have to try. You won't know unless you try. <laughs> yeah, that's it's next. okay. Because while you were doing that, I had to play Chaos, which is the longest stage in the game. <laughs> Ooh, that's true. <laughs> the longest, not golden banana stage in the game. True. There is. There are two other modes in this game: uh, Dark Banana, where if you touch a banana, it's game over and Golden Banana, where you have to collect all the bananas to beat a stage. These are not compatible with the randomizer because the conditions for game over and or clearing the stages are different, so. Yeah, they don't, they don't work in the randomizer, so you're not gonna see them. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be so funny though, if you can just get the longest stages ever randomly in your seed. <laughs> golden Banana and Dark Banana just essentially change the banana placements on the same exact levels, so it doesn't really work with the way that the course modifier has it. Oh, you don't want to go on this green gold, by the way. Ah, I'm not yeah. joking around, seriously. So that's a little bit I used to be level 100. Alright, I'm down. Go in. Oh, it's a warp two stage. Nice. That's a good green Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Not bad. You should have done that one first. It's a warp ninety five. Kind of a blunt there, but whatever. Nice. Yeah, I should have yeah. done that one first. I mean, come on. Right. You, the, the stage was literally trying to stop you from going into that so... really, like retries and stuff. That was your instincts taking over. <laughs> we were talking about chaos, Peter. Do you want to talk about your? I just got owned oh, by Franklin. Do you want to do you want to talk about your feelings chaos. about chaos, your experience chaos. with that stage in this game? I'm down. Okay, so chaos is really cool. Um, chaos is a stage made in Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Big fan of those maze stages. There's a lot of them. Half of them are bangers. The other half are just really long mazes. <laughs> and chaos is the longest and most boring and flat and stupid and skipless Ready? maze ever invented for a Monkey Ball game. And so in Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, when I first bought the game. I loaded into original stage mode because I thought that'd be a funny place to start, you know, the stages the way I remembered them. And I got to Chaos, 
and I was thinking, what? This is in original stage mode? That means when I go play Chaos in the other game mode, it's gonna be different, which means they like fixed it. They're gonna make it a fun stage or like a better stage or like a more playable stage. <laughs> Maybe shorter, just so that we don't have to like be on it as long. That'd be kind of hype. Less Chaos would be better, you know? And as it turns out, um, yeah, I, I went to go play Chaos in Deluxe mode. It was Ready? completely the same. Exactly the same as original stage mode. Same exact layout too and build in Bold and Banana mode. Yep, this they turns out uh, it's actually the game. exact same. And they did yeah, it turns to out it. it is. Turns out it's literally, literally the same stage ID. Literally the same level. Uh, the timer is indifferent. Some people think the timer is different. No, the timer is the same. They changed nothing. It's an original stage mode, literally for everything. It's just to bait you into <laughs> thinking that they actually fixed chaos. Honestly, I think it's funnier at this point to leave chaos alone and keep, you know, yeah. pretending that it's a perfect stage. The only thing that changes is the banana version because it changes the positions. We can change it to the other oh, positions. That's, that's the it's only thing like that changes in chaos. Stage mode. Ready? Go! It's a different way of playing the stage, but it's still the same stage at its core. Same exact model. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Destiny. Okay, let's see if I can get the screen goal. The screen goal on Vortex is actually pretty hard. Oh, Helix was playing Destiny hand. earlier too. What are the odds? Yeah, it's sorry, Destiny. Oh, Helix fell off of it too. Ooh. That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bad screen goal. Oh no. Bad, 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 that's like a 33 right second stage. Oh, I'm I just, I've just been yeah. scammed. Did, wasn't I, I saying something about how you should have known that? Wasn't I talking like Vortex? I think you're right. I said earlier, I said Vortex Ringo will take you back to Waver Helix. Don't go there earlier. Remember? Yep. And you know Absolutely. what? You know what? I almost I almost just went for the blue goal strat too because it's more fun. <laughs> It is very fun, actually. You should go for the blue goal strat. I wasn't even try the green goal, but I was like, no, we have to find out what happens. It's fine. It's it's content. It's more of the speed run, more time to raise money for nice, charity. Perfect that's, destiny, that's, by that's, the way. that's good. Thank yeah. you. And, uh, speaking of raising money for charity, uh, we got thirteen dollars from Nonbinary Code yet again, saying donating my lucky number and also because Helix. Also, also, I may be Peter. And while I'm here, oh. trans rights. That went towards. They're Peter. They're Peter. It's all uh, so true. That went towards the the Persona Four Final Dungeon Costume Choice Bid War, as well as the Harmony of Dissonance Any Percent Bonus Run. I actually, this is a great time to remind everybody: you can put your money towards both a bid war and an incentive, and it will count in full towards both of those. So, more bang for your buck. I just want to say in response. Okay, whatever to I'm trying to do here on Vortex is not working. In response to a chat member's question, goals and uh, randomized, I do not think picks dupe stages, but goals can send you backwards, and that's why some players are playing the same stage again because they uh, gotta go for it. I can yep. explain quickly how that works, actually. So there's a setting in the randomizer to allow duplicate stages, uh -huh. but by default it will not select duplicate stages. However, they're, they're, in addition to that selection, you can also set the amount of courses to pick from. Like, we have the 150 stage randomizer that we've got here, but we pick from a pool of like 200 something stages. So, uh, you can set the custom amount. If the custom amount is more than what you have, um, like if the custom if the amount is like, let's say 500 and you only pick 10 stages, it's going to repeat those stages to fill, to fill the gap. Ready? If that makes yeah. sense. Mm. Oh, okay, so, so the way we like set this up, ten thousand stage course and not run out of courses. Yeah. Yeah. The way we have set this up, so there are no duplicates, but because warp goals can send us backwards, we do still end up playing some stages multiple times. Mm. Another thing to note is that we did turn off bonus stages in this. Oh, I never noticed. Yeah, there has an option. Yeah, I guess that's pretty pointless in a speedrun setting. Cat walk. Include them. Live. Yeah. Thank thank you. You. yeah. If chat has any more questions, I unfortunately don't have it open right now, but if people want to relay them, I did make I the clue this, so I'm very happy to answer. I also have chat open. <laughs> oh, Frickin', I'm now. also going to ignore you on purpose chat from now on, though. I've decided I'm kind of through uh -oh. with you all, so... It's a lot of Peters, Dang. I feel like I, I don't even know who I am anymore, so... <laughs> Toxic commentator? It's tough to look. <laughs> don't worry, I can He's help no longer with that, Peter. Uh, that identity crisis by uh, repeating, I'm, I'm Peter, once every five minutes or so. Ooh, that's fair. I'll do this Every time it's redeemed, Piner just chimes in, I'm Peter. <laughs> <Ready? Go. laughs> 
Yeah, and I'm not. I, I now read all I'm Peter redemptions as well as donations. Oh uh, no. Ooh, and though SP just redeemed, chat. I'm Peter. My chat experience and my commentary experience. <laughs> um. <laughs> they check, by the way? Ooh. I was gonna ask you. 113. Oh, no same. Way. Oh boy, I'm on pro skaters. I just warped the 115 from rings. Ooh, that's a very standard green gold warp. Yes, it is. You should get a very standard green gold warp to some fly, okay? Hopefully. I promise. I'm screwing up the setup right now. I literally guarantee you it's going to warp you exactly to 115. I, I just looked it up in the script. Awesome. Ready? Alright, now's the good time to say that I did not, I did not <laughs> look it up. Ooh, are you going backwards? I'm down. Forward? Ooh, forward. waiver! Only one forward, though. So that's an one, example oh, of the, the text <laughs> being helpful, yeah. That's, that's funny, I saw waiver text, and like, I like went back oh. to like, I was I was like in Helix's brain again. <laughs> the one time <laughs> having more no two texts was positive. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Also, I'm playing forward waiver, okay. so I will have another opportunity to work here. Ooh, yeah, you will. I'm getting a lot of short stages, though. Ooh, <laughs> this is energy. awesome. By the way, you're literally Peter if you don't go to the green goal right now. Oh, one last fun thing to note as we're nearing the end of this run. So, in addition to warping you past, if you enter a warp goal on the final stage of the randomizer, you will... And you, it sends you backward, you will be sent backward, you will not finish. So if you're on stage <laughs> 150 and you warp and you have something that will send you negative, it will send you negative. Oh wow, so you can just take a warp goal for and fun we... and your run might not be over, that's awesome. <laughs> We are agreeing to do that, right? If there's a warp oh, goal in 150, yeah, we take it? We're just okay, going to go Unless you know it's negative, you go through it. Yeah. Oh, and you have to keep doing it forever? <laughs> do the green goal every time you get to stage 150? I'm down. Only if you know it's not negative. You don't know that. Ooh, it's negative. Of all, the, of all the SMB2 normal stages, I've gotten like banks, swell, and I think stagger. That's it. Makes you get 120 bananas. Oh, true. Gotta play bingo. Ooh, I missed I'm sorry. Sorry, that's gonna... Our 2v2 lockout team is in shambles. You had an opportunity, you were literally Damn. on swell, and you didn't get a 120 banana goal. I'm so, so close. Sorry. Didn't you do that one time? Yeah, oh yeah. Honestly, you did that one time. <laughs> oh, of course. I, I, I think it's so free to get, like, all the bananas on swell that I, like, forget to try something. <laughs> you were both on sewer at the same time. What just happened? I'm sorry. I might... That's amazing. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> where were you on? Brain? Either? 123 just loaded in I right here. This one bug. Bump. All I need is ruin and centrifugal. That's a short stage. I'm so close to all the baby stages. I'm so close. You're a baby stage. Just two more. Just three more. Oh, sliced cheese. Ready? Cheese. That looks too. Uh, that one right Helix 13 underscore for the strat I'm going to attempt here. Ooh, and I whiffed. The strat did not pay off. This was a bad off. look for Helix, Helix 13 underscore. Hi, Jack. Your reputation's in shambles. Jack, who's Jack? That's okay, that is a bad look for Helix 13 mm. underscore. Oh, okay. Thankfully, they're not here right now. All I see is Peter, Peter, and Peter. Mm. Yeah, there's no Jack right. here. True. We did get that treasure chest on the way down, so that was kind of worth it. Was me, it. It. Ooh. Stairs and ball, ball game. game. Stairs and ball game. Stairs and ball game. What stairs and ball game? Oh, I love stairs, that. Stairs, stairs modern. Postmodern stairs. Mm, post -modern I forgot stairs. about left side postmodern. That's the best. The banana postmodern is a, strat, yeah. postmodern is a good example of a state. Yeah. Postmodern is a good example. Fly for the strategy did on postmodern. Hey, oh. I mean, shout out to Peter. Yeah, postmodern is a good example though of the difference in mechanics between SMB2 and one for that matter and this game because you can't yeah. build up enough speed to do that in SMB2. Yep. That's right. We were talking about yeah the little the jump I did next. from the left side. Ooh, oh, do I remember this pause strat? There's a sick pause strat you can do here in alternative. Let's see if I remember it. Uh, okay. I remember the gist of it. I didn't get the adjustment. Well, the pause will guarantee, like, any pausing at all will guarantee you get the big bounce to get across, but you need the certain frames to go, like, all the way. Oh, what? That, that Did I just real. clip on? That's real. You bounced off me, so <laughs> yeah, I was flying the road. Alternative in this game is wacky. Oh, you want to show him alternative banana? Uh, Ooh. after the run. Right, what about enough. the yeah, if, we've got, if we've got time, we can go through and show you some We should have time. 
This will probably be pretty far under. Uh, Sorry for that bounce, so by the way. I was lying in the road. That's what you bounced over. That didn't seem like there was anything there, but I was there. Invisible. That's amazing. I understand. That's okay. Secret. I love that stage. Oh, this a lot isn't collapse. That stage. There's just destruction. I was getting the no stage confused way. with a different stage that looks similar. You're both playing destruction at the same time again. <laughs> Stop stealing each other's stages. <laughs> I think Ooh, still ahead of you, a war but I... I'm on 129 now. I'm on 125, just got through destruction. Like third try. This is close. It's close, but I, you're slightly ahead of me because of warp world differences. Hopefully that changes. Uh oh, train worm. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. good luck. Thank you. And oh, and time. <laughs> time. No, <laughs> not time. Not time. Not time. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. This is a marathon. Uh, you can't just say ooh, that. Skip time. <laughs> I apologize. Undo the timer. Ooh, nice yellow. That's another Peter catchphrase. That's a Peter Sorry, catchphrase. That was a neat little skip there in Twin Cross. Yeah, I found. Nail that. It's me! It's me! Ooh, wait, oh, I'm good luck. Oh my god, it's Helix. Ooh, like. we have to go on the green goal, it's right? It's me! Helix. I'm gonna try, it's hard. <laughs> I have to like play you the stage intending to actually stage, get there. You playing the entire stage to warp you back like three stages is gonna be so hard. I I know I know it's gonna <laughs> lose me the rest. Fine. Don't worry. I'm remember your training. Train, train worm. You've got time to screw around on your stage. Oh, you didn't remember your training. Wonderful. It's not training. It's train worm. You like. Yeah. You have to pay attention. Nobody's playing training. Yeah, it's okay. I swim fly. It's curtain. Uh oh. Oh, I did not have a good angle at that. So we're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna try that again. Go in. Uh, okay, I just lost 40 seconds because I bombed. No, no worries, oh, okay. Arms Fly is getting a train worm ran on him. I am, it's That's true. <laughs> I didn't bother to This is probably, the ironically, that, the stage I'm worst at in this game. It's a stage everyone's it's, worst it's, at in this game. It's, it's the only way you ever play this stage is by playing Master Warpless, and I don't play that category. <laughs> Hello, while we're here on Train Worm and Helix, do we have a message from our marathon team? Yeah, true. We currently do not have any donations yet, but we do have a uh, few donation incentives. Uh, currently, the Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance Any% percent bonus run is active, as well as the Persona 4 Golden Final Dungeon Costume Cruise Bid War, between the Halloween set and the Christmas set. <clears throat> Grab my throat real quick. Uh, oh. And, you know, uh, speed stop for charity for, wait, no, that's not the marathon. That was, that was four years ago. Speed stop for charity nine, uh, and speed stop for charity is a speedrun marathon team dedicated to annually raising money for charities. We've raised over $10,000 in our eight years doing marathons that we plan to continue for as long as there's interest. We've previously benefited St. Jude's, yes. Doctors Without Borders, Quality Texas, and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And this year, we are benefiting the... Yeah, I think it took you somewhere. Uh, okay, at least that warp goal was like worth it. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so basically, way, when Peter, you're, you the stage fades out to black, but when it fades to black, you're still moving, right? And so if you happen to press a button on the exact same frame, the stage finishes fading to black when you retry. Um, the switch state stays activated in the retry, which causes the switch to be activated immediately, basically when you respawn on the stage, which allows you to play the stage in a different way because you already have the switch activated, allowing you to do cool skips like this one on an invisible. That was very fast, thank you, Peter. That was extremely quick. <laughs> you just speed ran that explanation. Yeah. Switch storage I actually awesome. hit the switch storage twice in a row now. You gotta hit the storage a lot. Ooh, and there's the full skip. Yeah, this is what we would call epic invisible, but we call it... it's epic invisible. I call it swept yeah. invisible. <laughs> I call it swept <laughs> invisible because it's storage. switch storage. Yeah. Uh, that saves a bunch of time, and it's only really, like, actually viable if you do with switch storage, so that basically brought that strat into the story mode meta, yep. which is awesome. So, uh, that glitch is part of the reason we chose to do this over original stage mode. If we did not challenge mode, then we wouldn't be able to retry Challenges. like that. It would just restart the entire difficulty, really the entire section Any of level. Any stage of Switch, though, you can do Switch Storage on, and it's really cool to see the results. Mm -hmm. There are lots of ILs that are faster with Switch Storage, and a couple Ooh. cases in RTA. Launcher's time. Ooh, good luck. Shout out to Ice Swim Fly for the setup that I'm going to be doing, and almost landed. That was landed. really close. Very close. That setup rocks. But yeah, switch storage saves time in story mode on invisible pretty consistently, and sometimes gimmick if you do it really fast, but it's not really that RTA viable. Yeah, it's you can save up to like four or five seconds on gimmick with it, um, but if you miss, you lose upwards of ten, so it's very high risk. Yeah. Uh, invisible, it's just makes the stage a lot easier, so it's 
a lot better to do it there. It's also, I find it a lot easier to set up there. You can set it up much faster because you yeah. don't have to walk yeah, nearly yeah, no, as far to get to the button. More, uh, more friendly. This setup is this amazing. I'm amazed really at how often it sends you up like, to the spot you need to be. The goalposts just reject. Oh, it's great. It's just hard to actually go in the goal because, partially because goalposts are angry in this Bad game. Goal posts. Ooh, nice. There we go. Was it worth it? Warped to 140. Okay. Yeah, that's, I, a, that's a green goal. I got past one level. It's fine. The green goal worth it. Still better shit than me right now. Hopefully I get to... Oh, that's actually... I had to, I had to say something. Oh I'm no, what do you want now? Oh god, have fun. <laughs> Alright, ready ready for the speedrun skip? That's the speedrun skip. Ooh, Let's go. Nice skip. Time save. Six. Seven years. Now the stage True. will only take six years. So... I'm gonna get another work goal here on Passage. Um... <laughs> once I... How am I... What am I doing? Um, once I get to stage 141 or beyond, I am in instant win territory where if I take a warp goal, it could potentially just win the game for me. So, so we have to and, is what you're saying, at every warp goal, and then only save time if we know or for sure that it's uh, actually yep. the end of the category. Perhaps. Oh. Okay, stage 143. Chaos has Peter, arrived! Let's go! Man. Two for two! Oh no! no. <laughs> Peter! I'm down. I'm Meanwhile, in the I chaos. get to play. Did you know they actually Meanwhile, I get to play one of my favorite stage movement stages. stages. True. It is cool. A little bit chaotic. Don't forget the warp goal. Nailed the cycle. I absolutely nailed that cycle in gears. There sick. better be a warp goal. It's not a design, but like it chaos. This is every warp cool. goal. I really hope there's a warp goal. But remember, uh, tech team, if I say and, that does not mean it's time. <laughs> it might be time. It means it might be time. Where are all the warp goals? Yeah, they they put, didn't put any close. warp goals in this part of the sea for some reason. That's weird. Oh, sorry. It's your fault, Peter. <laughs> I'll take the- Ooh, got the hurry up on Chaos. Sorry, so if I try I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I go to slow. You can play Chaos again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> timeout on Chaos is over. Alright, hold You're up. You're in timeout for not playing Chaos again, honestly. Hold up as in close to time, or hold up as in literal hold up? Literally a quick as turn. As in quick stage. turn. I'm playing quick turn. Ah, hold up. Perfect! That's a hold up stage. That's pretty cool. Nice work. Any more warp goals? You. And... Oh! No, I not You're saying and real I, early. I I'm not even close sorry. to this goal yet. <laughs> what goal did you get? Well, we're uh, gonna I'm free throw. And... and. I don't think I got any tag. Uh -oh. So we're not going anywhere. Time it blocks. might actually boot you out. I don't remember. Oh, no, that is time. Okay. Time! Yeah. That is time. That's right. Because <laughs> because if, if, if it's going to warp you past the last stage, and say therefore anything. out time. of the thing, and then it doesn't give you any text. So that's time <laughs> for me. Um, Very suddenly. Because that warp goal on free, on free throw warped me past stage 150. And that's time. Cool. Okay. Um, GG. Yeah, good game. <laughs> Sorry for the most confusing uh, and time of your uh, career. This is yeah. Awesome tech team. Yeah. That's on, that's on me. <laughs> and me. Let's let's see the stages I would have had to play. Coil ramp, curve bridge, and swing bar. Wow, I got to skip curve bridge. That's sweet. <laughs> and coil ramp. That's a tough one. Yeah. Any bonus? Yeah, I'd say free throw is a pretty climactic way to finish. It's not a bad final stage. You got to yeah, get no, on the basketball it right at the end of the day. LeBron Oops. James. So. Fly, you mentioned the banana on alternative. The alternative banana. So I'm gonna go show that off now. That's not fun. That's um, I get Helix Green Goal first try and it tells me nothing. Oh, forward one, let's go. Oh no. <laughs> no worries, but you're not making bad progress. We're good. I'm gonna s <laughs> I'm gonna switch to a character that has extremely visible collectibles like Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, yes! Okay, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty does not get enough love Hello in this Kitty game. Sucks! No! Oh. And I said that about Hello Kitty. But that's not true, sorry. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I just wanted to say it after I said the Hello Kitty sucks and everyone yelled at me. <laughs> so if you look on the left side, see there it is. If you look sort of on the just to the left of the starting platform, you can see it just sort of peek out from underneath this apple here. Or this banana. <gasps> there it is. That. Oh get it. So now the reason that's there, you might notice. All of these platforms have a banana, or in Hello Kitty's case, an apple on them, except for that leftmost platform. 
You can see it just doesn't have one. Really quickly, I'm gonna steal the spotlight. I got Centrifile first try, and that completes my SMB2 baby stage list. That was your baby that's stage. That's sick, list. actually. <laughs> GG. All that's a really, that's a really hard strat. All I need is a ruin, and I've got them all. So you can see, there's no banana there. That's because that banana that's supposed to be there is just like over there instead well, for some reason. Reality happens to the best of us. Yeah. If you want to, it's just if you want another good oddity to show up, you can go to Double Spiral. What's on Double Spiral? Oh, the, oh the, the yes. Yeah, no, yeah, I know, yeah, I know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Oh, I love that one. The funny one that talking about. Absolutely good. nothing except the camera drill. Uh, I'm down. Hmm? Frick it, I'm Peter. <laughs> You're Peter. So, on double spiral, for whatever reason, reason, um, you know, you go forward here, it's perfectly fine. Except for that weird jitter there, but if you go backwards... <laughs> Bam! Bonk. There's just an invisible wall here it's for no reason? It's a pretty giant one, too. It's a bulky guy. Yeah! Like, it's it, it's a one-way invisible wall. It doesn't matter when you're playing normally, but if you ever need to go back here, yeah. watch out for that. <laughs> Ooh, this... Uh, finishing off this with a launcher could be time for me. Be so hyped, I just it. got launchers at stage 145. You're good at the strat, too? Oh, wow. You deserve that, honestly. Frick that. Frick Inside it. of the pole. And time close. Loss. You know what? I'll take that. That's close. <laughs> True. You've got to be giving the tech team a heart attack with how many times you've just <laughs> said and timer gotten close to it. <laughs> but it could be true on every single level here. It's the weirdest, yeah, you know, really. end of a run ever. I want to shout out Bass Prime for taking my restream shift, or rather, taking over restreaming and having a shift, so I didn't have to deal with that. Ready? <laughs> that was a All right, I just got stage 147. Swing bar long. Not not we have, we have two name memes here. Sorry, we have Bash Prime time. and I'm Peter. I'm Peter. Ready? I'm getting close to time naturally, though. Oh, yeah. Well, no, for sure, if it's stage 150. Unless you should go into Warp Goal for fun. Finish. If it's stage 150. If it's, a, if it's 150, I'm going into Warp Goal for fun. You already know. All right. Ready? I miss. Is that a cam lock setup? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is. Never heard of this thing. When the texture changes, just upright. Me. There we go. That's better. It's kind of like the exact same as it is without cam lock, but different. We just... Ooh, now I see 600 in the chat. Please. Yeah, we, uh, we did meet 600. We actually have a few donations <laughs> here. We have a go. uh, $50 donation from uh, BK BKS Briggs, with no comment that went towards Halloween costume for the Persona 4 Gordon Final Dungeon costume choice bid war. And we have a few more, but we might be having time here soon, so I'm gonna stay a little bit quieter. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have time very this is soon. Guaranteed time, absolutely. It's not even a warp goal. <laughs> we will be having time at the end of the stage. Here we go. And, and time. Time. Now GG's. there was a properly GG's. scripted and time. <laughs> First try, well done. Mm hmm. <sighs> Also, uh, replays don't know that you've done switch storage, so I did oh, switch storage here on beat screen, but the replay doesn't know that. So, this just happens in the replay, which is sick. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, thanks for racing, Swimfly, GG. Yeah, GG, thanks for racing, that was uh, a lot of fun. It was, any, any shoutouts? Um, I have some, but I'll wait. Nah, you can go ahead. Okay, uh, shout out to Midwest Speedfest, so we gotta shout them out, we just had our marathon, lots of fun. Um, shout out to Peter. Peter. He's Peter. Thank you for commentating. Hey, no yeah, uh, this you. was helpful. <laughs> this was a lot of chaos and fun. Yeah, that um, was a lot of chaos. You played both of you played it actually. We did. Yeah, we we played like a minute and forty seconds of chaos combined. True. Ugh, that's too much. It's too much chaos. <laughs> uh, thanks for having us. Shout out to Lee. Shout out to everybody who donated. We went from under four hundred dollars to six hundred over the course of this run. That was awesome. That's incredible, <laughs> actually. Thank you all so much. What the heck? Oh, we met an incentive while we were at it. This is awesome. Yeah, okay. Stick around for Paperball. Um, Absolutely. Uh, if you enjoyed the run, you can find me on all platforms, especially Twitch. I stream a lot on Helix13 underscore. Uh, you know, Twitch, Twitter, what have you. 
Icewindfly, where can people find you? People can find me at Icewindfly556 on pretty much every social media platform, uh, Twitter, Twitch. YouTube is just Icewindfly, but if you search Icewindfly556, I'm sure I'll pop up. Um, I generally do marble rolling content, monkey ball, generally banana mania, but in October on the 21st, for those who don't know, Persona 5 Royals coming to PC, and I will be shifting over to that a lot. So if you're interested in that sort of content, I'll definitely be making content on Persona 5 Royal when it comes out, so stick around for that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you to the staff for dealing with our shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we appreciate it. Trans rights. I don't know if we're still on. I don't know if we are either. Okay, I'm Peter. Yeah, you're still on. I'm Peter. Awesome. Cool, so everybody heard me say trans yeah. rights, which is good. Yeah. Well, while you're still here, uh, I am going to read out the last, well, the last of those donations.